Hi Noon, it's Brianne, and I just wanted to get on here and give you an update on Betsy. It's been forever since I've done a little update on her, and believe it or not, she's going to be one next week, and that is so hard to believe. Um, it has been a really fast year, and then there's parts of it that are just kind of blurred out. You know, that first year of having a baby is just kind of like, I don't even remember this. Um, if you followed my pregnancy vlogs, I guess that we've been, you know, doing this for about a year and a half now, which is crazy. And um, I do not miss being pregnant. <laughs> that was not very fun. This summer isn't as hot as last summer, but like every time it gets hot, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember last summer. It was awful. Anyway. So, Betsy was born on September 21st of 2012 um, via C-section. Here's my little C-section video. If you never got to see it, it's, it's pretty neat. Um, Lisa, I think it's cool. Because <laughs> it was a better C-section than I had had in the past. Anyways, um, the first six months of Betsy was so hard. She had infant acid reflux. She still does, but it was getting that managed and trying to figure that whole thing out was exhausting, so hard, oh my goodness, if you have a baby that has that, you've got to get help. Um, I'll put some links in the description below about the infant acid reflux if you have any more questions about that. Um, so it took about till six months before Bessie started sleeping. If I could have seen the light at the end of the tunnel, it might have made those months earlier because I ha she started sleeping through the night at six months, which I've... Neither one of my other kids were even close to that at six months. They were both over one. Charlotte was over two before she slept through the night. So to have a baby that slept through the night at six months, I'll take it. So um, we had moved around, I think she was five months we moved. And that month she slept maybe 30 minute stretches, maybe. It was torture. Um, getting her acid reflux medicine adjusted and getting her out of a swaddle, getting her out of the cradle rocker thing, um, those all really helped her to sleep. And once we got rid of all of those little, you know, things that were helpful in the in the beginning, and but moving out of those things really helped her to actually sleep. So she, um, she sat up around five months. She started sleeping through the night around six months. She, her personality is coming out a little bit more. She's really, um... What is she like? She's sweet. She's very sweet. She loves to give kisses and hugs. She loves her siblings. Oh my goodness. If Sam walks in the room, she lights up. She just, and he does too. It's, they have a really cute relationship. Um, he, he is not really always verbal with feelings. I don't know. He's just a boy and that's just not something that he does. But when it was with her, I will catch him just saying, how cute you are and how much he loves her and just he just can't take it <laughs> how cute she is she just he's just like she's just the cutest baby oh she's just so cute oh I love her so much and it's just like to hear him say that is just really out of out of, you know not that that's not who he is because he is but just to hear him verbalize that is so cute so they have a really like unique relationship and then Charlotte and Betsy do too um they're more wild together imagine that <laughs> um Charlotte will just manhandle her like and I'm like Charlotte you have to be calm but Betsy just goes with it she's fine um she loves it right now um let's see we did baby led weeding with Betsy which I didn't really know what it was called when we first started it and if it wasn't for YouTube I would have no idea we just had decided we're just gonna feed her what we're eating and that worked really well and then come to find out it's a thing Anyway, it's really messy, <laughs> but um, she just never really liked baby food. She thought it was boring. She wanted to do it herself, and so she's just always eaten what we do. When she goes to daycare, she does eat baby food just because I don't want them to have to mess with it, and apparently she eats it just fine. But anyway, um, speaking of daycare, she is the first one of my babies to ever go to daycare. She doesn't go very much. She only goes... About 10 hours a week, um, sometimes up to 15 hours a week, but that's it. Um, but that's a big adjustment, and that's really hard for me. I've, you know, stayed at home for all my babies, and for 12 years, <laughs> really been a stay-at-home mom. And so to put my baby in a daycare is so, so weird. It's just, it's really hard. And at the beginning, it was really hard. She um, actually goes to a daycare where I work, and so I'm in the building. I can walk by her room and I for the first couple weeks I could hear her crying 
and it ripped my heart out. It was the hardest thing not to just go in there and just rescue her and just be like, okay, never mind. Um, she got adjusted to it and she, she does it. It's very, um, it's out of, it's out of sync with my, what I think, you know? So it's not that I think the daycare is bad. I don't think that, but it's just out of, it doesn't feel natural for me, um, to put her into someone else's care who I don't really know that well for a couple hours. That's hard for me. Um, she's fine and she loves it. And actually she, now I set her on down on the floor when I get there and she finds her toys and she actually really likes other babies. Usually babies are just like, mm, you know, not really that interested. Betsy loves babies. She really um, tries to interact with them a lot. My sister has two babies and her younger one. Betsy will just go over and just try to talk with her and like poke her and like hug her and kiss her and she's very interested in babies. Um, what else? Okay, so, okay, then she's still on formula. Um, I'm sitting on my bathroom floor. <laughs> Again. Apparently this is where I'm going to vlog now. Um, just because it has lighting and it's just done. What else? Okay, so her formula. Um, she is the first of my babies to really feel like, I feel like she's done with her bottle. She doesn't, it was about 10 and a half months. She's just really lost interest. I'm obviously still feeding her a bottle because, you know, she's not one yet. And so I'm just kind of like, but I can tell that she's going to be really easy to just go from formula to milk, um, really simply. And then she's very interested in food. So um, the only bottle that I think that she actually likes is the first bottle in the morning. She's already kind of over the last bottle at night too. So, um, mostly she's eating food and just really just about done with that, which I just can't believe that. Um, a few weeks ago she was sick and, um, I put her to bed right away, uh, without giving her that bottle. And then she woke up in the night or about 11 o'clock, which she doesn't ever do. Um, so I fed her a bottle and I was just sitting in her room with her, um, rocking her in the chair and feeding her a bottle and just realizing like, oh my gosh, like this is probably the last time that I'm going to like cry now. This is probably the last time that I'm going to feed a baby a bottle at night in the rocking chair. Like just knowing that, you know, she's my last one and, and she is, <clears throat> believe me. So Anyways, it was a moment. I just took it all in, smelling her head, that sort of thing. Like, oh my gosh, she's almost one. Um, and she's drinking her bottle. I don't know. There was something about it that was just like, eek. Um, speaking of sickness, she does get sick quite a bit. Um, more than my other kids did. And I think that probably has to do with being in daycare, which is another reason why I just feel bad about it. Um, so she has had several colds this year. I don't know. It's kind of frustrating. Um, but when she's not sick, she sleeps great. If you put her down, um, sorry, this is my phone. Um, if you put her down, she'll sleep for 12 hours at night. Now, naps during the day, forget it. In fact, I can hear her right now. I'll have to wrap this up. She's talking, but she just is not a napper. She'll maybe take one or two naps in the mornings a week seriously. And then she'll probably take one to two, well, maybe like three to four afternoon naps, but she doesn't sleep. And it's bizarre. I've never seen a baby that doesn't want to take a nap. It's kind of exhausting. Um, of course I'm not going to complain because she's doing the night sleeping just fine. So I guess you get what you get. Anyway, um, she has been such a cool addition to our family. It's funny. She'll just crawl around and I'm like, she just looks like she knows that she belongs here. Like, and we still look at her and go, how did this happen? Where did you come from? Just because we had it in our minds so much that we were completely finished having kids and just, this was not like something that I ever dreamed of. And I am just so grateful that she's here and that she is a part and that she does belong and it's just funny that she just, she has no idea. She's just like, mm, yeah, I'm supposed to be here. And it's, it's so cool. And the kids love her. And anyway, um, looks wise, she's getting a little bit more hair. She's really blonde. Um, Sam was really blonde as a baby. He doesn't look Mexican at all. When he was a baby, he was like, what? Um, 
And so she's got blonde hair. She kind of looks like both Sam and Charlotte, but she has definitely her own look. She doesn't have as dark of eyelashes as they did when they were babies. People would always comment, oh my gosh, their eyelashes are so long and dark, blah, blah, blah. And with Betsy, they're kind of lighter. So she may be just a little bit lighter than they are. Um, she's got four teeth. They're huge. They look huge. I'm sure they're not. It's just her size of her right now. You know, she's tiny and her teeth are big. Um, what else? She really wants to walk. She's really close. I think she'll probably walk sooner than the other kids. They were 13 months. She's almost 12 months. She's probably, yeah, still, yeah, she might be a month out. I don't know. She's definitely cruising along, walking, standing up. Occasionally she'll stand. Um, yeah. So that is the update on Betsy. If you have any other questions, let me know. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.